Okay, well, we've got some terrific students here today and the headmasters of two schools. So, bonjour, estudiants. I can't hear you. Thank you. Many of you may know you've heard me talk about the Dallas International School before. I know they're so cute. <laughs> um, the school teaches in English and in French. Uh, Helena, one of our uh, terrific employees, her, her children go to school there as well. The, t the school teaches in English and in, Fran uh, and in French, and also um, they choose a language, uh, I think twice a year, I think it switches at the semester, to so go in three languages. And uh, they're a very unique school. I spent some time over there. I've been to the very first pep rally, and that was a lot of fun. And they do an exchange program. It's interesting. There's kind of, I guess we would call it the mother school or the head school is in France, and they have international schools all over the world. And they do an exchange program, and, and, to, and this week we're fortunate to have the exchange program come to, to Dallas, Texas, is um, international school and uh, with their kids from France, and then also the kids from uh, our school in Dallas will be going to France. So let me just do some introductions really quickly so I can get some folks up here. Um, the headmaster, Pierre uh, Visso, I think I hope I pronounced it right, maybe not, but he's going to tell me. If um, you wouldn't come up and just stand here for just a second while I read this proclamation, and if you wouldn't, ma wouldn't mind introducing the rest of the folks that have come here today, that would be very helpful, and then they could come up as well, because I am sure I'm going to mispronounce some names today, but Pierre knows that I do that often, <laughs> so he's used to it. Thank you, Linda. Yes, uh, we have the pleasure to have today um, two, uh, well, one teacher and the headmaster of the French uh, school, uh, Pascal and Gilles. Gilles is there. Hello. <laughs> Pascal is there. Hello. And, uh, of course, from Dallas International School, we do have uh, the head of the primary school, uh, Martin, Martin Delcroix. And uh, we have the teachers, uh, Cindy and Franck, yeah. And uh, we also have our director of development, Tracy, with us. And, by the way, our photograph, Douglas. <laughs> And that's it, I think. That's great. And if they'll step up, I'll just go ahead and present this to all, to all of you. So if you just come right on up here for just a second, okay? I have a proclamation. I've been practicing my French, okay? Right. Gaitha gave me a French book. All right. Okay. I took French in high school. Oh, you took French in high school. Okay, yes. so you're going to correct me. Okay, great. Okay. There's only very few words in French, so I, I think I'm okay. If, Okay, so whereas Dallas International School is the only multilingual immersion school in the Metroplex and its mission is to educate students of all backgrounds in order to contribute to a dynamic world with its internationally renowned curriculum. Oh, yes, get the students up. Oh, this is going to be such a cute picture. Oh, okay. Put them in the front. Put them in the front. Kids in the front. <laughs> Taller ones in the back. <laughs> Plenty of room here. <laughs> there we go. Can you, can you see yourself on TV? Oh, there you are. You're being, you're being recorded on TV. If you look kind of up to the left of you, you can see it. And whereas 550 students from more than 50 countries pursue a rigorous curriculum in French, English, Spanish, and Mandarin, and the school is honored to have the prestigious accreditations of the Independent Schools Association of the Southwest and the French Ministry of Education, the Mission, Lac Francais, and the International Baccalaureate Association, whereas its recent partnership with the University of Texas at Dallas ensures the future growth of Dallas International School with the state-of-the-art facilities, premier academic collaboration, and the university scholarships, and whereas the Dallas International School's success helps promote Dallas on a world stage as a great city in which to live, work, invest, and learn, and whereas the Dallas International School's fifth grade students have since 2003 made increasingly successful annual trips to France, presenting our great city, state, and country, and this year is honored to partner with La Colle Fontaine in Paris. And whereas from March the 5th through the 16th, 2010, La Colle Fontaine, fifth grade teachers, students, and parents warmly 
welcomed and hosted our Dallas International School students in Paris with a rare official permission from the appropriate French authorities. And the fifth grade students from La, La, La Cole La Fontaine will visit the United States and our city from September the 29th through October the 12th. I hope they're going to go to the State Fair. And whereas on Saturday, March the 13th, the mayor of the 16th Adonce des Montes of Paris, the Honorable Claude Gosquin, held a reception honoring our students, at which time our students rep, uh, presented a formal invitation under my signature, the, city, uh, the mayor of the city of Dallas, to reciprocate at Dallas City Hall. Now, therefore, the mayor of the city of Dallas, Tom Leppard, and on behalf of the city council, do hereby officially welcome the fifth grade class from La, La Cola Fontaine to the United States of America, to the great state of Texas, and to the dynamic city of Dallas, and hereby uh, proclaim December the 29th through the 12th, as well as Exchange Cultural Week. So congratulations to all of you. We're looking forward to having lunch with you today. I'd like to present this proclamation to you and maybe have the other council members uh, come up for the picture. Would, you, would anyone in your group like to say something? Yes. Tracy? Okay. They have a letter. Okay. Okay. Bonjour. So I would like to extend my most sincere gratitude to all of the Dallas City Hall professionals who made such a profound welcoming gesture to our visiting friends from La Fontaine School in Paris. I would especially like to thank you, Honorable Mrs. Coop, for arranging for inviting us for lunch today and for the stellar service by the Dallas City buses during this visit. The 2010-2011 school year marks the eighth year that the Dallas International School has participated in the fifth grade exchange trip to Paris. Since we are organizing the exchange with La Fontaine School, each year we have been grateful to the hospitality of the school and the mayor of the 16th district of Paris. The Dallas International School is thrilled to reciprocate this hospitality for the first time this year with the participation of Dallas City Hall through welcoming our French friends to the great state of Texas. During their visit, they have already seen a few sites of interest in Dallas and Texas State Capitol in Austin, and will see much more of our amazing city this week. They will also visit the Space Center in Houston and enjoy the sea in Galveston. So, Honorable Madame Coop, merci pour votre soutien. Vive Dallas, vive Paris, vive notre échange franco-américain. Yeah. Bonjour à tous. Je... Bonjour à tous. Au nom de Monsieur le maire du 16e arrondissement, Monsieur Goasgen, je vous... vais vous lire la lettre qu'il a écrite à l'intention du maire de Dallas. Monsieur le maire, c'est avec grand plaisir que nous avons reçu cette année encore les élèves de l'école internationale de Dallas, à Paris, au cœur de notre 16e arrondissement. Dear Mayor Leppert, it is with a great pleasure that we will this year again welcome to the 16th arrondissement of Paris the students of the Dallas International School. Les échanges fructueux entre les jeunes auxquels ces visites ont donné lieu sont porteurs de grands espoirs pour l'avenir, non seulement pour le perfectionnement de la langue, mais aussi pour la création de relations durables entre les peuples, la découverte de la culture, des arts et de la civilisation de chaque pays. The fruitful exchanges between the young adolescents these visits gave birth to are a great hope for the future, not only for the perfection of the language, but also for the creation of a long-lasting relationship between our peoples. The discovery of different cultures, the arts, and the civilization of each country. Les relations entre les États-Unis d'Amérique et la France ont indéniablement de solides fondements. Nous le rappelons à nos élèves pendant leur cours d'histoire, 
Si la France est fière d'avoir apporté son soutien à l'Amérique pendant votre guerre d'indépendance en 1776, entre 1776 et 1783, nous n'oublierons jamais vos combats à nos côtés pendant les deux grands conflits mondiaux du XXe siècle pour la défense de la démocratie et de la liberté. The relationship between the United States of America and France has undeniably strong foundations. We remind our students in history classes not only to be proud of the French support of your independence from 1776 to 1783, but never to forget American fight on our coast during the great conflicts of the 20th century for the defense of democracy and freedom. La visite des élèves de l'école La Fontaine nous permet de vous faire parvenir des gages de l'amitié que nous portons à votre grande nation. The visit of the students of the La Fontaine School gives me the opportunity to send you the warm sentiments that we hold for your great nation. En vous remerciant de votre hospitalité, la ville de Paris et plus particulièrement les habitants du 16e arrondissement sont heureux et fiers de vous adresser leurs chaleureuses salutations. Thank you for your hospitality. The city of Paris and especially the citizens of the 16th arrondissement are proud to send their regards. Your truthfully. Nous vous prions de croire, Monsieur le Maire, à l'assurance de nos sentiments les meilleurs. Et nous avons voilà. deux cadeaux pour vous. He's going to have a hard time getting this. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so very much. We appreciate you. All right. Thank you. Thank, thank you all in a beautiful book. Uh, Ms. Hunt, you had some remarks? I, I, I did. First of all, I wanted to ask our audiovisual person to please uh, pan around so all the students get on TV so everyone can wave. Very, very good. Everybody wave. Don't wave at the TV, wave at the camera. <laughs> Very good. And, se and second, well, well, <laughs> well done, well done, well done. Uh, and Ms. Coop, I, I was, I was going to say thank you for, for bringing these wonderful students here. And also, I was going to see if you could have the headmaster and some of these other wonderfully, uh, uh, beautifully spoken French speakers come and read the phone book every Wednesday, <laughs> if that would be possible. Thank you very much, students, for being here. We love having you here. All right, and thank, thank you all. And Ms. Coop, thank you so very much. Thank you. And before we leave, um, you know, they know a lot of English, but maybe we should teach them to say howdy, y'all. <laughs> and that's a, that's a Texan, that's a two Texan words. So ask, ask your professors when you get back what that means, howdy, y'all. <laughs> all, right. all right, did you get, did you get your pictures? We want to all take right. a picture. Did Let's you get, get a picture? Bring them in here. I can't tell which ones are from France. Are they the ones with the little lapel? The ones from France have. Of course. I'm here. I'm in it. You stay right there. We are. We're in it. You all right? Everybody here? You know, I took French in high school. Yeah, and the only one I learned that I can remember is Parlez vous Francais. All right, everyone. Parlez vous Francais. Do you speak French? All right. Thank you all so very much. All right, Mr. Atkins, you're up next. Mr. Atkins, you're up next. Hold on to that one.